Hi, I'm Mark Gordon with GoldenTicker.com on Wednesday, July the 13th, 2011. And gold hit a new high today, getting up to $1,586. And I wanted to show you a long-term chart of gold. This is a monthly chart <clears throat> that takes us back um, here on the screen till uh, late 2002. Uh, when gold was trading in the low uh, 300s and shows you the meteoric rise up. And if we take a simple uh, calculation and um, say that we're in a uh, uptrend when prices are over this green dotted line here, which is a 20-month moving average, um, we dip below this here briefly in late uh, 2008 when the markets went through that, that horrendous correction. And it brought uh, gold back down to test the 40-month moving average down here uh, with a low of $681, and then uh, gold shot up uh, uh, to $1,000, and then up uh, uh, you know here to where we are now from that springboarding off. So we had a couple months there where <coughs> gold was, uh, you know, what we might say in a bear market, but since then we have been above this green dotted line. And also, um, within a couple of months, we have uh, then stayed above this blue uh, solid line, which is the 10-month moving average. And it has act, acted as a springboard here for the last couple of years. Uh, gold coming down, testing it, and then springing up uh, to new highs, pulling back, testing down here at $1,044, and then going to the new high here, coming back here, very brief pullback here. <clears throat> late in 2010, just touching the line here. And now we're back up here going into new high ground. Now we tend to get our most severe pullbacks when we hit this upper channel line. And uh, here at uh, 728, we pulled back uh, sharply down uh, into the uh, mid 500s here. Coming back up here, we hit $1,033.90 here in early 2008 and had a massive correction about, um, looks like about a $400 correction, uh, $350 correction uh, down here when it touched this upper channel line. Now, um, if we were to go ahead and rally strongly up, that would put us, it looks like in about the $2,000 range, um, uh, touching this upper channel line. So that tends to be on a lot of optimism. We hit those new highs and uh, a correction uh, ensues pretty rapidly. So just something to keep an eye on. And here's the 30-year chart of gold. Uh, you can see back here in 1981, we were at uh, a little over $700 an ounce, crashed all the way down here to uh, just under uh, $300 an ounce. And then uh, kind of waffling in this long trading range here, had another uh, correction, formed a cup down here, um, touching uh, down into the $250 range here uh, back around uh, late 1999. This is when the stock market was doing great, especially the NASDAQ. and um, uh, actually rallied up strongly coming in into 2000 and then fell back here t retesting the low here and then it has been uphill ever since um, uh, late 2000 and um, it's just been a meteoric rise for gold and you can see these uh, corrections here this one came here in around uh, uh, early 2007 uh, broke out of this sort of cup with handle shaped base here and rallied real strongly up here. And then we had our big correction here with the general markets. You can see that here, uh, testing the 40-month uh, moving average. And then it's been straight up since. Looking now at a weekly chart of gold, uh, we can see back here in mid-2010, uh, uh, broke out of a cup with a handle at about the 1266 level and ran up to uh, the 1432 level. Came back down, formed another cup with a handle broke out again, went to 1577. This was back in May. And now we've pulled back, formed a, a bit of a double bottom here, and now uh, today broke into new high ground. So um, another uh, chart pattern breakout here for gold. And looking at a daily chart uh, uh, and today's action in gold, you can see the gap up, which is a very powerful sign, on big volume. And we've had three days of increasing volume. You can see how the volume is sloping up and now well above average here. So this is a powerful move for gold as it goes into new high ground. Another bullish uh, sign is that the 200-day moving average is below the 100-day, and the 50-day uh, uh, moving average is above the 100-day. Uh, and here, this red line is the 21-day moving average, and it is now moving higher and came down and did not cross the 50-day moving average, which is a technically a strong sign. So everything looking very strong for gold. It built a nice solid uh, two and a half month base here and uh, has launched out of it today. 
So uh, technically, gold is looking strong. Fundamentally, gold is also looking strong. Uh, we have uh, serious problems here in the eurozone with, uh, with of course, the Greece uh, debt problems, and also now Italy. Uh, we have Spain, Portugal, uh, of course, Ireland, and not to mention the problems in the United States. So a lot of reasons why gold uh, uh, is uh, fundamentally strong as well. And also, out of China, we have word that they're going to start the Pan-Asia Gold Exchange. And uh, they're, uh, that's going to bring a lot of customers uh, into the physical gold market there. So um, everything looking uh, good for gold.